Article 99 of the Uniform Code of Military Justice, misbehavior before the enemy by endangering the safety of a command, unit, or place carries a maximum potential penalty of a dishonorable discharge, reduction to the rank of E1, total forfeiture of all pain allowances, and possible confinement for life. Now that was a U.S. Army Forces Command spokesman at a press conference today. The military is charging Haley native Bo Bergdaw after he disappeared from his unit in Afghanistan of 2009. Thanks for watching the News at 6. I'm Joe Martin. And I'm Amy Burnett. The Army Sergeant returned to the U.S. last year after a controversial prisoner swap with the Taliban. Craig Boswell reports. The Army says Sergeant Bo Bergdahl could be court-martialed on charges of desertion and misbehavior before the enemy. Misbehavior before the enemy by endangering the safety of a command, unit, or place carries a maximum potential penalty of a dishonorable discharge, reduction to the rank of E1, total forfeiture of all pain allowances, and possible confinement for life. Bergdahl, now 28, was freed last May after being held captive for five years. The Taliban released him in a controversial prisoner swap for five detainees the U.S. was holding at Guantanamo Bay. President Obama appeared with Bergdahl's parents in the Rose Garden celebrating news of his release. Questions persisted about how Bergdahl was captured in the first place. Other members of his unit alleged he deliberately walked away from his combat post in Afghanistan in 2009. The military investigation began after Bergdahl's return to the U.S. last summer. The Army's 2014 investigation is currently being treated as potential evidence in the pending Article 32 preliminary hearing. An Article 32 hearing is similar to a civilian grand jury. It will take place at Fort Sam Houston and determine if there is sufficient evidence to court-martial Bergdahl. Craig Boswell, CBS News, Washington. Now, after his return, Bergdahl was given a desk job at Joint Base San Antonio, Fort Sam Houston in Texas. Now we're joined by our Sun Valley reporter, Desiree Fawn, who has been following the story all day. Desiree, how's the community responding to today's news? Thanks, Joe and Amy. In light of today's news, Sergeant Bo Bergdahl's hometown of Haley is quiet in a community that is known for respecting the privacy of high-profile celebrities, this also seems to be the case with Bergdahl, now that he has become a household name. The city of Haley did release the following statement. The city understood that the United States would likely pursue an investigation of alleged charges against Bo Bergdahl. Pursuant to that investigation, the United States is now pursuing those charges. These charges will either be proven true or Mr. Bergdahl will successfully defend against these charges. Either way, the city takes no position on this matter. We did reach out to a spokesperson for the Bergdahl family today, but at this point have received no comment. The town is relatively quiet, but we are starting to see more media arrive. Live in Haley, Desiree Fawn, Idaho's First News. Thanks, Desiree. Blaine County Commissioner Larry Schoen released this statement today also on behalf of the county. My community has been awaiting the results of the Army's investigation patiently and is prepared, I believe, to accept the results at this stage as difficult as they are. The, changes, the charges are serious. His case is not resolved. However, until we have all the decisions of a military tribunal, the Bergdahl family, like any family in crisis, will continue to have the support at home. Well, Amy, as we have mentioned, Bergdahl could spend the rest of his life in a military prison. Earlier today, one of his fellow soldiers shared his thoughts on whether the potential sentence is deserved. I don't think that he should get any kind of forgiveness for time served. I heard that at one point. They said that, well, maybe he's going to get forgiveness for five years for, for time served. Um, in my opinion, that's kind of like his uh, punishment for abandoning us in Afghanistan like he did. Um, if they tell us. If they say that it's life in prison, then I really hope that he serves the sentence. Now, a hearing has been set for Bergdahl on April 22nd in Texas. 